Let's hope the questions are here. Is that recording? I love how I just checked and I've already forgotten. Yes, it is. Hello there, it's Samantha. So today I'm coming to you with a tag video. That was a weird way to say that, but you know what? It's fine. Today I'm coming to you with the Anything But Books tag. This tag was created by the channel Read or Rot, so I will link the original video down below. I think I was tagged by Celine over at Bookflix about a year ago. She deleted a bunch of her videos, so I don't know if that video is still even up on her channel, but I'll link her channel down below anyway, even though she's kind of stopped making videos, but you know, I'll link her down below anyway. The reason I'm doing this tag is just because I have kind of been in a little bit of a reading slump when I'm filming this. I've been in a bit of a reading slump. I am pre-filming, not gonna lie. Anyway, but I have been in a little bit of a reading slump, so I just thought it would be good to do something not about books, but still a tag, because I, I felt like it, so why not? So the first question is, name a cartoon that you love. I don't watch cartoons anymore, but when I was younger, I absolutely loved Kim Possible. I loved Kim Possible with all of my heart. I actually rewatched it when I was like, 14. I rewatched all of the seasons and it was still great. I also rewatched the movie. Solid movie. I loved Kim Possible. I also really loved Pinky and the Brain. I thought Pinky and the Brain was a great show and it's actually very mature, which is really weird. You know how in a lot of cartoons or children's stuff, they, they'll put in jokes that the parents will get, but the kids won't. Pinky and the Brain does that, but like some of them are like a bit too far. I'm like, wow, Pinky and the Brain, really? But it's still a really great show. I also really used to love Pokemon. I really loved that TV show, mainly because, and this is slightly embarrassing to admit, but I know other people feel the same way, but I had a crash on Ash when I was younger. I'm not gonna lie to you, it's a fact. I had a crash on Ash. So that was part of the reason why I loved the show, but also I just loved the whole idea of Pokemon and I wanted to be a Pokemon trainer when I grew up, sadly. Pokemon aren't real. So question number two is, what is your favorite song right now? Panic at the Disco literally just released some new music. When I'm filming this, as I said, I'm pre-filming, so it's actually March when I'm filming, just, just to let you know. So Panic at the Disco just released a new song. So I'd probably say this one. So yeah, I really like to say amen, bracket Saturday night, but also fuck a silver lining, come on, it's great. Basically, I love all of Panic's music ever. I don't think there's a single Panic song that I don't like. If you didn't know, Panic is my favorite band. You probably guessed that from the fact that my intro has been Girls, Girls, Boys for literally forever. So yes, I, I love it dearly. I actually was able to see them live in 2016 and that remains one of my favorite nights of my life ever. I wish I could see them again this summer, but they're only coming to the UK for two days and both of those days I'm in Spain at summer school. I'm like, why? Question number three is what could you do for hours that isn't reading. I absolutely love cooking. I hate eating leftovers because it's boring. I'm like, I don't get to cook today. I hate this. So yeah, I absolutely adore cooking. I love baking. Also obviously watching YouTube videos. I also obviously really, really love watching Netflix or just like TV shows in general. I've always been watching TV shows. When I was younger, I always used to paint my nails and like do nail art and I would spend hours doing that, but I just don't have the time anymore and my nail varnish chips all the time because now I have to wash up all my dishes by hand because you know, that uni life. <laughs> Question number four is what is something you love to do that you're following? would be surprised by. Well, I love swimming. I don't swim very often, mainly because I'm not a member of the gym here. I haven't had access to a swimming pool, but I'm gonna join one over the summer. I love swimming. I also really like going out to like the club, which might surprise some people, but I do really like going out to the club. Sometimes. Sometimes I just not feeling it. Like tonight is a Friday and I'm not gonna go out. But yeah, I guess that would be like the most surprising thing. I don't know. Question number five is, what is your favorite unnecessarily specific thing to learn about? Okay, this is gonna sound real weird. <laughs> 
I love history. Like, I was terrible at the subject. I just couldn't do it because I wasn't good at writing essays and I'm really bad at remembering facts. But I absolutely, like, I'll watch it like historical, like whether that be like a historical fiction movie or I'll read a historical fiction book and I'll become obsessed. And like, I will spend like the next three days like looking up all the information I can about that subject just because I just really love learning about it. I don't really know why. But specifically, I love like historical crime, especially like unsolved things like Jack the Ripper. I could spend so many hours looking up stuff about Jack the Ripper, but I don't because it kind of scares me. You see, this is why it's really weird that I haven't read Stalking Jack the Ripper yet because I love learning about it. I don't know why. But also in the 60s, there was this train robbery and oh my God, they made a dramatic recreation on BBC a few years ago. And well, one, Luke Evans was in it, who I love, which made it great. But it was like a two part series and I became obsessed. I wanted to know everything about every single robber. I wanted to know what happened in their lives. It was amazing because a lot of them got away with it for a long period of time. So yeah very specific historic crime, apparently. I love it though. <laughs> Number six is what is something unusual you know how to do? I don't think I know how to do anything unusual. I used to be able to do a really good Southern American accent because I used to watch Food Network all the time when I was younger and I used to really like Paula Deen's cooking show. I know Paula Deen is a terrible person, but I used to think her accent was really not funny because that sounds bad, but like she was just so Southern. It was great. So I used to just imitate her and I did a really good job of it. I haven't done it in a long time though, but I'll try. Hey y'all, I'm Paola, and today we're making chicken fried steak. <laughs> I probably messed that up. I think I messed that up, but it's been so long and I just don't do it anymore because obviously Paula Deen kind of sucks. But yeah, that's the one thing I can do. I can't do any other accents. Like, I try and do an English accent, it's awful. Like, people get me to say tomato in an English way and then they laugh at me and I'm like, why would you do that? <laughs> it's just me. Number seven is name something you've made in the last year and show us if you can. I'm currently making something, but it's not going too well. I'm currently making this pom-pom rug for my floor in my room because my floor is really uncomfortable, but I'm not very far in, so it doesn't look that good yet. But I'm basically doing this like blue striped thing and it's like pom-poms, but as you can see, it's not fully made yet because these things take so long to make. It said on Nifty, it said it was easy and quick they lied. That's something I'm working on. Question number eight is, what is your most recent personal project? We're gonna just touch on this briefly, but I'm trying to lose weight. I have been for many years and I have lost weight a bunch of times, but I've put it back on and things like that. Never, I've never been as heavy as I was when I first started losing weight, which is great. I've always kept off the 20 pounds heavier than I was. I weighed a lot more than I do now. But yes, now I'm very, very close to my goal. That's my recent personal project as of March. So hopefully by the time you see this, I'm closer to my goal. So far, I'm about 15 pounds off my goal, so not far. And I'm gonna try it really hard to get there because I'm annoyed of not being entirely satisfied with the way I look, so that is my most recent personal project, I would say. Number nine is tell something you think about often, maybe while staring out of windows. I don't know. My mind wanders a lot, so I don't think there's one specific thing that I think about a lot. I think about the future a lot because I have plans to get out of England, mainly. Oh, I used to think about book ideas a lot, and then I realized that a lot of my book ideas were like romances, and as someone who has been single their entire life, I don't think I'd be a good person to write that book. I originally wanted to write like a romance book, but that's not gonna happen, or at least not anytime soon. My mind is always occupied, pretty much. My mind just goes all over the place. I think a lot about food, like what I'm gonna have for dinner that night. Question number 10 is, give us something that's your favorite, but make it something oddly specific. Not like your favorite food, but like your favorite food when you've been studying for hours and forgot to eat, or you know, something like that. Okay, longest question ever. One of my favorite things ever in the whole universe is this candle, which I lit earlier. I don't even know how to describe what it smells like, but just the most fresh, amazing scent in the world. But the lid they gave me is the wrong lid because it says that it's refreshing citrus, but this does not smell like citrus. It was a limited edition candle specifically made for Fairy Loot, which I got a few years ago, and I'm never gonna be able to recreate this, and it crushes me inside for the first time in like almost two years I lit this candle, and this is my favorite smell I've ever smelled in my entire life, but I don't know how to describe it to you, but it's just clean and fresh and like floral, I don't know. If you also got this candle in a fairy loot box a few years ago, they gave me the erudite lid, but I don't think it is erudite. It was in the fairy loot box in October 2016. This is my favorite thing ever. And the last question is, say the first thing that pops into your head. Okay, let me clear my head first. I can't believe that was the first thing that came to my head. The first thing that came to my head is vodka. I'm truly a student, clearly. Anyway, so those were all the questions for the Anything But Books tag. I'm not gonna be tagging anyone because this tag came out a while ago and when it did come out, like everyone was doing it. So I feel like nobody else is gonna wanna do it now. But yes, that's what we do all for today's video. So I hope you liked it. If you did, please give a thumbs up. If you're new here, feel free to subscribe down below. I'll see you very soon with another video. Bye.